Do you have a plan to retire early? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you practical tips that have worked for me. This is no pie in the sky theory stuff. This stuff actually works. Hi, I'm David with Nomadic RV Living, and this channel is about getting out of the rat race and retiring early. Why? Because life is too short to be miserable. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 tips and strategies to help you retire early. This is not theory. This stuff has actually worked for me. So let's dive right in. Now the first tip is one I don't even like to talk about. Budget. I know, I know, budget. I don't like budgeting. And the importance of a budget is, especially if your income and your expenses are very close to each other. Because if you don't know where your expenses are going, where your money's going, you'll never get ahead. A budget is simply tracking your monthly income and your expenses and looking at your expenses to determine where you can cut. Now, you may not be able to cut any more expenses, so you may have to you know, increase your top line by getting a second job. But it's necessary. The good news is that at some point, if your income greatly exceeds your expenses, you can just pitch the budget. You don't need it anymore. The next tip is live below your means. Live below your means. And all that looks like is, it's pretty simple. It's a strategy my parents drilled into us. I'm grateful they did because it's what's worked. Is if your take home pay is a dollar, spend less than a dollar. Don't spend a dollar. Don't Definitely don't spend more than a dollar. You'll go in debt. Just live on less than that dollar. Ideally, live on 80 or 90 cents and save the rest. The next tip is another one my parents drilled into us. And that is, there's a difference between needs and wants. Needs and wants. Now, when you're looking at but to buy something, just ask yourself, is this, do I really need this or do, do I want it? Now it's perfectly okay to want something and buy it. I've done that plenty of times. But just don't sell yourself or sell your spouse on, I really need that new bass boat when maybe you only just want a new bass boat. Uh, a current example, I eventually will need a new, not a new, but I eventually will need a full size truck to pull my current travel trailer or I want to get a bigger travel trailer. I still will eventually need a bigger truck. And I'm looking at the uh, Toyota Tundras, but I know that I really don't need one right now. There is a period in the future where I know I will need it, but not right now, but I want one now. So even while I'm doing research on uh, Tundras, unless I get a really, really great deal, I'm probably not going to buy one right now because I don't need it right now. It's a really simple strategy. The next tip is to ask yourself this question, especially before making a big purchase. And the question is, how often am I going to use it? And I will give you an example. I had a BMW Sport Touring motorcycle that I bought a while back. I only had it for about a year. I sold it. I sold it because I didn't like the way it rode, but I also sold it because I wasn't using it. It was just sitting in my garage. It's not designed for commuter traffic. It's designed for traveling all over the country. So I got rid of it. But lately I've been eyeing a, another motorcycle. It's a Kawasaki Concourse, and they are sweet bikes. I've test driven them twice, not recently, but in the past, and I really want one. But I thought to myself, how often am I going to really use it? And in this season of my life, the answer is, I'm not going to use it that much. Now, sometime in the future, I may be in a situation where I can say, wait a minute, I will get a lot of use out of it. Now, this next tip is one that I've never really had a problem with, and that is, don't buy stuff to impress other people. It's that simple. If you want something because you like it, whether it's a need or a want, buy it because you want it or need it. Don't buy it just to impress other people. It's just People don't really care what you drive, what your house looks like. They just don't care. Now, the next tip is eliminate consumer debt. I'm talking about credit card debt, car loans, your boat loan, your motorcycle loan, your RV loan, uh, student loans, those kind of things. Now, real estate debt is different. Now. I really can't help you out on consumer debt, but Dave Ramsey can. Check him out. I'm sure you've heard of him. 
he has his baby steps. Uh, he has a program called Financial Peace University. And if you follow his program, good chance you will get out of debt. The next tip is buy used instead of new, especially for those things that depreciate fast. I'm talking about cars, motorcycles, boats, RVs, and sporting goods. Those things depreciate crazy fast. An example, over probably over 20, 25 years ago, I purchased some golf clubs thinking, aha, that will fix my golf game. Didn't work, I don't play golf, I'm terrible at it. I spent about $1,500, and I would be lucky to, to get about $100 today for those things, so. Now the next tip is time your purchases. And what I mean by that is buy, especially big ticket items, when other people are not trying to buy the same thing. An example, if you wanna buy a boat or an RV or motorcycle, buy it during the dead of winter. Granted, there won't be as many uh, items on the market at that time, but you're not gonna have any competition. Another example is, it was New Year's Eve, and it was down to uh, low 20s, and my heating unit started making a clicking noise. And I thought, oh crap, if this thing, if this thing dies, and I've gotta call somebody on New Year's Day, it's gonna cost me a fortune to get it replaced. So, fortunately, it lasted. And what I did was I thought, hmm, when would be the best time to buy a new unit? Now my upstairs in the attic, the heating element and the blower was about 18 years old and the outside air conditioning compressor was about 12 years old. So it could have lasted a couple more years, but I don't want to take that chance because when your HVAC unit goes out, it's going to go out during the winter time when you're using it or during the summertime when you're using it. So a plan was, and it worked, I waited until October when nobody was using their air conditioning anymore and the heating, nobody was using their heating yet because it wasn't winter time. And guess what? All the HVAC guys, companies, were twiddling their thumbs. So I was able to get seven bids and on my timing and I got a screaming deal. So I replaced it. Now this next tip, I'm sure we could argue and discuss and debate for hours is in my opinion again this has worked for me is to me renting is a waste of money so buy instead of rent now there are seasons in your life where you may need to rent when you're first starting out in your career you can't afford to buy something you can't afford to buy a house or a condo or a townhome maybe you're being transferred to news to a new city well you want to make sure that job's going to last and you want to determine where to live in that city perfectly fine maybe you're going through a divorce and you need to temporarily get an apartment but the concept of spending your entire life renting is a joke. It's a waste of money. I'll give you an example. I've been in this house for about 10 years, a little over 10 years now. And if I would have stayed in the apartment I was in, I would have spent about $165,000 and would have nothing to show for it. At least for the home, you've got appreciation potential. You have your mortgage principal payments reducing what you owe but long term. Renting is a waste of money. The next tip is called avoid lifestyle creep. And what that means is as your income rises, don't increase your spending. It's that simple. A lot of people, as they get a raise or they get a new job, they immediately increase their expenses equal to their increase. Now it's okay to maybe, uh, in my opinion, you know, maybe eat out a little bit more or maybe buy something that you really wanted that's not very expensive. But long term, if you're in a situation in your career where your income keeps rising, and if you keep your expenses relatively level, that gap between your income and expenses will continue to spread out and you'll be able to save a lot more money. So I'd like your help. If you have any additional ideas, please put them in the comment section below. I'd appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell notification down there as well. So the next time I, I upload some new videos, you will be uh, notified. I do appreciate your time. I know it's valuable. Thanks for watching this channel. I do appreciate it. Have a great day.